All right, guys, I didn't get the capture on video, but what I have in my net right now is a pretty common butterfly. It is a female Hyalothea phileus, fiery skipper. And out of all the butterflies, I've bred like 102 species of butterflies from the state of Florida. Out of all the butterflies I've ever bred in Florida, this is one that I've just never gotten around to. And so today we're going to do it, guys. So if you want to see the video on the life cycle of the fiery skipper, how we get eggs, well, well I'm hoping to get eggs, see how it goes. Check the video out. All right, after three or four days of our skipper being in the children's grow seed, if there's any eggs, Okay, after about four days after hatching, I have upgraded them to a 16 ounce cup. And now I put a piece of St. Augustine grass in this cup. Now I'm just gonna pull this out and see if we can see any caterpillars, if they've grown at all. Nope, there's one right there. Is it? No, it's not one, Never mind. Never mind. Wishful thinking. Let's see. They probably have made their little tents by now. Let's see. If there's, looks like there's some feeding here. There's probably a tent right here. Okay, there we go. Still pretty small. My goodness. All right, there you go, guys. That is a fiery skipper larva, probably second instar, maybe close to third. But as you can see, they take the they take a blade of grass and they close it over themselves like this with silk. And it, this was actually attached to another blade 
And what they do is they, they hide inside of the fold and they come out at night and they feed. So you can see the where he's chewing the blade of grass right here. So that's good. That's one larva down. Let me see if we can find any others in here. I know there were more. There were more hatches than that, that's for sure. Okay, there's another one. He's in the old, the old grass. I don't know what he's doing in there. It doesn't look very good to eat. But I'm going to... Yeah, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this, put it back in here. And then I'm going to take my little paintbrush. Onto the tape paper towel here. That's why I do it on the paper towel so I can see in case the caterpillars jump. There's there. I'm going to go ahead and put them there. Okay, check out this other one now. I don't know what species of grass this is, but um, they seem to be tearing it up pretty good. Yeah, you can see all the frass in the bottom of the container here. All right, let's see. What can we see here? Yeah, there's one right there. He's pre-molt. About to go into the next instar. It's a good sign. There's another one. Oh, two more. Look at that. Okay. Let's see. <clears throat> After three or four more days. Let's see how our skipper caterpillars are doing. It's not bad. It's getting bigger. Well, yeah, there, let me see you. Silk. And they attached them all with silk and they made this big like cluster of cuttings. Very brownish, green, nondescript, very drab. The head is like bigger than the girth of the rest of their body. I always love that. Uh, this guy is just emerged and he's straightening out his proboscis there.